what up everybody professor dovahkeen here um and i just want to introduce to you this lessons on one of my newer builds that i have <laughs> freaking constructed here this is what i call an orc dps monster build because this is just supremely effective uh basically what it entails is what you're gonna buff first right out of the get right out of the get go of the game is uh oddly enough health because stamina once you get your light armor up um you'll be using light armor probably um although you're going to be using a heavy armor shield just because you're going to need to do some serious blocking but that comes later first thing you're going to do is buff one-handed because if you can buff one-handed at the beginning your your main point is obviously dps is damage per second you're going to want to put out as much damage as possible what I'm about to show you here is the crowd control feature on this thing. This, this build, when it comes to crowd control, is one of the best I've ever played. Like, uh, Skeever. Skeever. Hmm. So we're going to go up here into this thing up here, and we're going to get this dude's sword from the whatever. Sorry, I'm being real specific for a professor here. Alright, now what the the main thing about this build is you can dodge people like a, like a monster. Like it's nobody's was Like watch this dude. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Look how easily I just wrecked his face. No, I'm not going to cry. In the face! Or in the neck! I said, oh, level up. Here's the business. All right, so my health is pretty good right now. I'm pretty good on health. So I'm going to go ahead and buff stamina. Let's see, 100 is 27. I could buff that again. Now, honestly, damage per second, you could either do um, war. Uh, that's not what I want. You could either do war axes or you could do sword. I'm going to do sword just because I think they look cooler. That's really the only reason I'm going to do this. So I'm going to buff. I'm gonna go ahead and buff light armor just to be safe and that's merely just to be safe like I really have no problem buffing my one-handed but I'm as you can see I'm all right there so heading in here thing to remember is that we're gonna try and reduce damage as much as possible by blocking I mean blocking is one of the main things you have to do during this is block 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 and another thing you can actually do that you usually can't do with heavy armor is you need to dodge if there's a guy that has a big old friggin war hammer and he thinks oh I'm gonna hit this guy I'm gonna hit this orc in his face you need to dodge that war hammer as much as possible and get in his hits as much as you can nope but I'm gonna tell you I am Waiting, old man. Waiting in Sovereign Guard. Oh, dang. Blood everywhere. Like, like a freaking boss. Like a freaking boss. Oh, that's interesting. No pages. No writing whatsoever. I find that I find that amusing. Look how fast I'm running! This is ridiculous. Yeah, you did. Yeah, magic is another thing you have to worry about. Magic. Oh, this guy's gonna use shock. Are you joking, sir? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, you're not. You're not welcome. Oh, I just dodged an arrow. How's that? I don't know why I didn't. Tell you what, you start running, or I can stab you in the back. In the face! How's that? A sword in your face. Literally. A sword embedded in your face. Look at this Breton over here. He did a good job of not doing anything. And this red guard. Sucks. Red guard did an effective job of doing nothing to me. 
See, this is the great thing about the villain. You can just mock them because they can, they can't touch you. you. Just despite the fact that your bare chest is showing, but that's more of a boss thing. I wouldn't necessarily consider that a bad thing. Actually, it's pretty good. Ooh, iron helmet. You you spoil me, Skyrim. What up, haters? Oh, there's that Warhammer guy I was talking about. I gotta get rid of his friend first. Come on, come on, get me. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yep, nope, that's, that was pretty effective, I thought. Fur armor. That's 30. This is 32. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, come here. You guys got a dagger with you. Wow, these guys suck. And as you can see, my health is going down, but I'm blocking. It's going on pretty fast, but if you keep on it, you should be fine. They can't touch you. Oh, look at this cute little wolf in here. Oh, crap. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, crap. This is a wolf, man. This is crazy. This is... Wolves don't play no crap. Son. Gotta take his pelt, of course. Can't just leave that lying around here. Only problem I foresee is going up here in this guy. This guy usually has a pretty good weapon, so I'm a little intimidated. Not too much, just because I'm Professor Do Oh, that is just what I wanted. A poison. Can't take on the boss without some poison now, can we? What is this one here? Iron or jade? Mining the crap out of this jade. Let my health refuel while I go to town on this iron ore vein. Look at that. I am DPSing it up on this iron ore vein. Got iron in your veins. Sorry, that wasn't as funny as I hoped it would be. <clears throat> Oh, yep, he's right up here. All right, and he's usually right up here out in the yeah, the overlook. So, let's see what we can do to this dude. And then I'll then I'll sh show you some more crowd control on another on the actual bounty white run bounty quest I'm doing right now. So, but I'll I'll, I'll cut to that. I won't show you me running across the road. That's kind of boring for you guys to watch, honestly. Combat difficulty can be more to find at any time. Yeah, if you're a wimp or you suck. Combat difficulty. If you suck, I'd probably raise it. Combat probably isn't difficult enough. Well, not at this level. No, no, I, I definitely wouldn't want to raise it at this level. That that would be dumb. That'd be bad. Wow, that's really taking a while. Oh, no, here we go. Is he? Wearing iron armor. Leroy. Oh, poop. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. I'm going to use a potion here to. In the face. That was pretty awesome. Not going to lie. Iron Hand Gauntlets. Somewhat useless, rather. Alright. <laughs> oh, a chest. You spoil me, Skyrim. Iron Lock Picking. Useless. Use it later. Alright, and that is the effectivity of the... And the, really, the only problem is when you run into, like, bosses like that, who are just like, ah, And you just... Man, you just and also I think I think the only thing is I have a really weak shield right now. I don't think I actually buffed my shield, did I? Nope, totally did. But uh, yeah, the only problem that you're gonna have is that heavy armor dudes are gonna try and wreck you, and generally they do a pretty good job. But if you can stay smart and evade them and, and just get little hits on in on them with a really good weapon you you'll be fine and again i probably should have buffed health there 
uh, to think about it. Probably should have done that, so take note of that. Um, but no, seriously, don't don't mess around with. And you can always go back to heavy armor and get the steed stone. But I mean, if you get the steed stone and you get light armor, you'll run just f even faster. So there's really no reason not to go light armor. And you can buff it to the point where it does it better than the heavy armor. So there's really no reason not to do it. So all right, I'm gonna cut back to a, when me when I get to a. Gosh, look at the hate in his eyes. That is just ferocious. Some pretty gnarly chest hair there too. Anyway, I'm going to cut to in the next fight and I'm going to show you some different stuff. Alright guys, I'm back. See the tower over there in the distance? That's where we're headed. That is right where we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's, that's where we're headed. And uh, again, I'll show you. I think this boss has sword and shield, but he's heavy armor, I'm pretty sure. So I'll show you how to deal with one of your own kind who's uh, pretty much at your level so those guys are actually I think more difficult I think than usually there's a somebody right here who wants to kill me but I don't see where they are so let's just go ahead and open this door oh there she is just randomly spawned out of thin air like a boss like a boss alright see that's a tripwire but we're not gonna victory or sovereign guard sovereign guard sovereign guard a crazy old lady ah found you I kill this dude like a boss Oh, I just got shot in the neck. Oh, no, in the arm. Gnarly. Minor healing. Never saw that there. All right, now let's see where this guy is. He's right there. I feel like I should be, like, do my John Madden voice. And, like, to, all right, now you see here, there's that boss, and he's coming up over her. I wonder if I can push him off the side of the bridge. That might be the easy way to get rid of him. Oh crap, now run. Now let's buff health. Just because and again, this is not a gorilla warrior build. This isn't this is not a build that you're gonna want to use for gorilla fighting. You're you're all up in their business is what's happening here. Um Yeah, that sounds good. Turn and fight me. I'm gonna fight and break your head. Care of that business real quick. That guy just doesn't know. Dude, quit blocking. Come on. Give somebody a fair chance. Alright, now let's get up some potions up in here. Like a boss. Like I said, always stock up on potions. Oh, uh, actually, I didn't say that. But still. <laughs> Oh, a banded iron shield. You spoil me, Skyrim. Yeah, let's use that. Yeah. Banded iron shield. There's what we want. There's the... Now, let's go over here and finish the guy. This noob. Get that noob. Him. Joking around. Quit joking around. Get your A-game on. Fight me. You can't just... You, you, you just, no, don't, don't humor me, don't humor me. You won't live to see no, I'm pretty, no. Oh, that was awesome. That was legit. I just stabbed her in the chest. I, I don't, I don't normally say things like that, but I just think it fit the moment. I actually did stab her in the chest. Oh, it's 5 a.m. I'll spend more. Hours out here killing bandits. 
White White Run should have an award named the Grim Hark, the Grim Hark Award for Nobel Grim Hark Bandit Killing Award, because that's what I do. Been out here killing bandits since 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 dusk, son. Just don't mess. Oh, another chest, Skyrim. I'm gonna roll, man. Come on. Save some for yourself now, Skyrim. Don't take all. Don't let me take all the glory. Well, if you insist. Oh, archery. Gonna need that later. Not really. You're not gonna use archery very much with this build at all. Actually, I don't think. Again, I don't need bows. No, no need for that. I don't need that garbage. All right, guys. Well, the sun is set, is rising on in Skyrim, and I have to go back to Whiterun to collect my bounty. So that said, oh, I didn't know it was Starhawks. I can sell that for a pretty penny. All right, guys. As you can see, the sun is rising over Skyrim, as I said before, and um, I'll probably introduce you to uh, how to do dungeons or something with this. I don't know. I'm really liking this character, so I feel like I'll you'll probably see him again. I feel like he's a Oh, that's legit. I love for I don't like first person view as much. It's not my fave. Just look at that. Look at that. This little bling there. Yep. Alright guys, this has been AP Skyrim and class is dismissed. You know, I'll go home.